Hi, my name is Avery and I was the administrator at Epic Life for the first eight years. Working in the office, I feel like I got to see God's faithfulness and his provision in some pretty unique ways. When we first got to the city, we didn't know how we were going to be able to afford to remain there, let alone do ministry. But God came through and we just learned to rely and to trust on his creative provisions. Next, I think of God's provision for me personally and relationally. I didn't really know what I was doing when we first started, fresh out of college, never having worked in an administrative role before. But he brought around great mentorship, some good training, and people to walk alongside and be a team that was able to push forward in ministry, catch vision, and love on our neighbors well. He also provided for me with friendships and a whole new definition of family. It was hard leaving behind everything I'd ever known when we left the Midwest, but I discovered some new friends and met new people and deepened some older relationships. And I am so thankful for the ways that God provided those friends for me when I was feeling pretty lonely and pretty down or pretty discouraged at various points. Congratulations, Epic Life, 10 years. I'm so glad we get to celebrate. One of the first ways that I saw God's faithfulness through Epic Life Church was right away um, when everything started. Um, as having the privilege of being one of the people that moved out there to help start Epic Life Church, one of the first things I really noticed was that God provided jobs to everyone who came out there, basically in the order of who was running out of money first. Um, you know, we came out there as prepared as we could be, um, hoping that God would provide, and He was, in fact, faithful to provide jobs to each person right when they needed it. I've seen God's faithfulness to Epic Life Church in the way that He just provides people to meet needs um, as those needs arrive, or at least provides the words and the abilities to the people when those needs arrive, um, whether that's for youth work, whether that's um, just the ability to keep going with a coffee shop. Um, God puts into the people who are there what they need um, for, for the service that He's asking them to do. I've also seen God's faithfulness through Epic Life Church in the fact that true connections that are formed um, in Epic Life seem to continue quite well. Um, he's created a real community where people make real connections. I've since moved back to Minnesota and started a small business and wouldn't you know, my first two clients in my business come from Epic Life Church. Um, God isn't just faithful for a season, um, He's faithful all the time. It's more whether we'll see it or not. Hi, Epic! We are here, the Campbells. I'm Kari, this is Lily. We wanted to share a few ways that we saw God being faithful through Epic Life Church. And so, a few specific things in regards to children's ministry was he always provided the volunteers that I needed for teaching and nursery providers. It was just such a blessing and such a great way to see how God can rise up leaders. We definitely saw God being faithful son. through our family away from family in providing meals when Elijah and Lily were born and also the carpenters and the ropers both allowed us to live with them for different seasons and just the amazing way that God brings people into our lives when we need them or at least expect it and so those were a few ways that I personally saw God being faithful. Hey Epic Friends, Jeff here with Elijah. We are so thankful for God's faithfulness while we were in Seattle uh, on a couple of different levels. First and foremost was house church, just the way God built that ministry. We didn't even know that it could be what it became. Um, diving into Koinonia and trying to understand what intimate fellowship looked like, God provided us with the life cycle, which I think is 
super novel and we're actually trying to, to build that into our small group ministry here in Minnesota and the church that we're attending now. God's revelation to Epic in, in the house church ministry was definitely a consistent reminder of his faithfulness. He always provided leaders, he always provided men and women who are willing to step up and use their home uh, and lead house church ministry. And even at different points, he brought new people to Epic from across the country who were super enthusiastic about small group, about house church, about uh, what God wanted to do in the lives of people as they met together in their homes. The, the, the food truck, Soul Kitchen, a lot of you now might not even remember, might not even know about Pilgrim's humble roots as we had a coffee cart and a Korean food truck, but the way God provided for that ministry it was truly a miracle. I mean, he allowed us to win awards and accolades. He allowed us to be profitable as a business within the first year. He allowed me as a chef to grow and learn uh, through his provision and through, I think, my integrity and our integrity as a church body, just to really change the perspective of a, of a once uh, disreputable business uh, to really reclaim the name Soul Kitchen and, and be people of integrity. And I still see his faithfulness as I Facebook stalk Pilgrim Coffee House and long for that delicious cup of coffee and that warm <laughs> smile that Justin and Hector and, and others are still bringing to the city of Seattle. So we love and miss you and we are excited to see God's continued faithfulness through Pilgrim, through Epic, and through each of you. Hey, what's going on, Epic Life Seattle? Hey, this is Brent Isbell here with Epic Life New Braunfels, and I just want to say, man, on behalf of our church, thank you so much. In 2011, we brought a group of students up to Seattle, and what we I thought was going to be a great mission trip was something that actually transformed my life. Um, and I just want to say thank you for being the church. Keith, Christine, thank you for moving your family from Minnesota, living in a tent uh, before you had a house. And thank you for having at least nine other singles and college people that moved and left everything to plant a life-giving church. I just want to say we love you guys. We're so incredibly proud and honored to carry the name of Epic Life. It was a way to say how much you have invested in us. We stand on your shoulders in gospel work. And, man, we just want to say happy 10 years. We love you guys. And here is some people that want to say hey to you. Woo! Love you guys. I'll see you soon.